Welcome back to Jersey Matters. When you went to the local food store, the question used to be paper or plastic. Now it may be, do you want it for free or do you want to pay a fine? Our Kimberly Kravitz reports on an effort in Trenton to make you pay for plastic bags. Plastic bags coming from stores like these continue to litter New Jersey. And now the state might look to charge you for every plastic bag that you use. The bottom line is that we've got to curb and ultimately limit the single use plastic bags. Assemblyman John McKeon is championing this bill in New Jersey, hoping to save our one and only Mother Nature. And the numbers are staggering. Uh, by 2050, it's estimated there's going to be more plastic bags in the ocean than fish. You know, to have that happen on our watch is just not, uh, is intolerable. New Jersey residents like Trish admit they're guilty of overusing plastic bags. I think we should get rid of them for the environment. And we just get lazy, but I think that if we really um, get the facts out there, maybe people would do a better job like myself. More and more towns throughout the state are joining the effort, leaving you two options. They might place a small fee to curb the plastic bag usage, or you might go BYOB and bring your own bags. We always have a bin for recyclable bags to bring in. Um, I guess people just have to bring in their own bags. If this proposed bill passes, stores like ShopRite and Walmart would change their policies. But what do you do? Sometimes in a pinch, you just need a plastic bag. There is no uh, loss for plastic bags and alternatives. Uh, that's a whole other issue relative to the amount. There'll be plenty of plastic for the dog poop if that's what people are worried about. The general public is in favor of protecting our environment. But the last thing New Jersey residents want is another reason to go into their wallets. Well, I mean, we're all shopping on a budget, so um, it would definitely affect how much I could spend. Um, and if they're charging five cents now, who knows how much they're going to charge later. I wouldn't be happy about the tax, but I would like them to get rid of them because they are in danger to the environment. Jersey Matters spoke to the New Jersey Food Council, and they believe that a fee for both paper and plastic is critical to the overall success of any bag proposal. The carbon footprint of paper bags from production to checkout is just as harmful than its plastic equivalent. So a shift to allowing paper only will also have negative consequences to the environment. In my estimation, it should be the retailer's responsibility. They build the price in anyway, so if it was up to me within a several years, they should remove them by 100 percent and just have either biodegradable or paper bags uh, available. It's not just New Jersey looking to take on these measures. California approved a statewide ban on plastic bags in 2016, as well as Hawaii. I'm very proud of all of our towns in New Jersey, but particularly Maplewood, Livingston. They're moving on their own to, uh, to have these restrictions in place. Anytime soon you think they're going to make the change here? Not that I've heard of. The state uses four and a half billion plastic bags a year. The goal is to protect the Garden State's environment, but will likely take a lot more than just a small fee. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Kimberly Kravitz for Jersey Matters. All right, thank you, Kim. Still to come on Jersey Matters, a royal wedding and a Hollywood star. Haven't we heard that story before? We'll reminisce when Jersey Matters continues.